and high above our unsuspecting heroes. Stay police. Yes, ma'am. This is FBI agent Karen Simp. Following ominously above them in the Midwestern sky, Boris conceived a sinister plan. Flying ahead to Wasamari U, the two villains made a sizable donation to the college in Bullwinkle's name, prompting the college president to bestow upon Bullwinkle an honorary Mooster's degree. When Moose is at the podium for acceptance speech, I'll be on Water Tower with CBI. <laughs> there was only one problem. What's the matter, you had no Water Tower. Can't even find Water Fountain. Their entire scheme seemed to be on the verge of collapse until they hit upon an incredibly ingenious plan. What? <laughs> And suddenly his sharp little eyes picked out the terrifying figure of Boris Badenoff near the top of the water tower. Hey, that guy's and not a college student. That we present this honorary degree to Bullwinkle J. Moose. Good morning, children. Today's lecture is about trees. Here are many kinds of trees. Bullwinkle, look out! It's a trap! Rocky's voice couldn't carry over the strident shots of the student body, so with no alternative in sight, Rocky tried one more time to summon up those faded aeronautical skills that had once made him a household name. But just then, Boris managed to turn on the CDI. Uh -huh. Yes, it looked like curtains for Bullwinkle. Got to save Bullwinkle. <laughs> Commander Fowler, press any key to continue. Which one is any key? With a single blow, Rocky sent the CDI hurtling through the sky. Upon Boris single mindedly reached out to catch the catapulted computer, forgetting as he did one vitally important piece of information. I ain't a cartoon no more. Darling, government intervention. Ow. Forced to migrate to the city, they would take jobs away from local pigeons. And just as Rocky and Bullwinkle got back on the road, Boris and Natasha emerged from the student infirmary, ready for action. 